What's going on, y'all? This is going to be season one, episode two of 911. Let's check it out. Let's go. No! Did you hear that? Those were not screams of joy. No! I know. People are flipping out. Isn't it great? There are two hot girls in front of us. But if we get out of this line, they will Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram our faces with hashtag pussies. Don't do it. If you have a bad feeling, don't do it. Trust your gut. Did it close all the way? Oh, Absolutely no. not. 911, what's your emergency? Oh my god, some guy just got thrown off the roller coaster. He's just lying on the ground. He's not moving. Daredevil hero stuff is what I signed up for, Bobby. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Get everyone nope. off this right safe. <laughs> what happened to Chad? Hey, Bobby, he's asking about his friend. We lost him. All right, I don't need the people up there seeing that. Damn, could you imagine? And he didn't want to go. Hang in there, guys. The I'm guy coming. hanging there. I'm almost here. Why is the fire truck going okay. away? It's just getting into a better position, that's all. He's going to be all over I, the place. Forget about them, okay? You don't look down. <laughs> look up at me. I don't want everyone to see me like this. So Devin, I need you to concentrate. Slide your arm through the loop. I can't. What? Because he was going to be embarrassed of the footage and stuff? I'm not oh hungry. my god. America, they're one night stands, man. In that moment, they mean everything to you. But once the morning comes, it's on to the next one. You know, I ain't sold on you yet, but... I think keeping me from getting shot deserves a second chance. Oh, because when we take the uniform off at the end of the day, it symbolizes letting go. Yeah, I mean, I think it's natural for you to feel bad about it. It's only been, oh, wow. Wow. Game over. It's been that day. Mom, Abby, help me. what is it, Mom? It's too dangerous. You cannot lock the door, Mom, and I'm late for work. Hi, my name is Carla Price. It's very nice to meet you. If that doesn't work, turn it the other way. She has a very, like, calming and okay. sweet okay. All right, let's get you. demeanor. Oh, let's get you I'm in your so chair. Slow. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I've never had anybody help me with her before. Hey, what you're being asked to do is so hard. Look, go get your life back for a little while. I got this. Hey, want a cup of coffee to go back? <laughs> no. Harry, oh. where's your sister? You got a test or something today that you're not ready for? I said I'm sick. Oh. Thank you. God, she is so freaking beautiful. Sir, I can barely hear you over your dogs. Can you quiet them down? No, no, I'm being attacked by devil dogs. Control is on the way, okay? Those aren't your dogs, then. Why would gonna, they be barking at you? Why are they in your house? Why are they barking at you? Oh, no, shooting them is just gonna piss them off. I got something much more effective. Got him. <laughs> is he okay? Should be fine. We'll have animal control test the dog for rabies. Then he a bigger dog than the Dobermans, because I still have my ring on. Oh. These next few months gonna be hell, so whatever you need to do to get through it, so that you could be there for your kids and for yourself, you might wanna do it. So it's the front door. Dogs can't get inside unless they live here. Yeah, that's what I was... Like what? Is this your house? Yeah, everything okay? He been burglarized, and I let him get away. She he tried to say the dogs hours. just waltzed into oh, the house? thank the Lord. My husband and I are in a fight, so I can't go home. Until he moves from the I never want to see her again feeling. He broke up with me. And he did not have my permission. <laughs> Holy crap, he's gone national. You know that big hunk of man me? Look, I, I was just doing my job. I'm happy we were able to help the people we helped. And I'm, I'm really sorry. But um, I'm sure they're just turned on by the uniform. You know, I, I don't know if they would feel that way if they saw me out of it. Uh, I, I, I don't mean it that way. All firemen are dogs, and the ones that look like the road warrior with an adorable birthmark are the doggiest dogs of them all. <laughs> and he is the first person in years that actually has said, thank you, Abby, great job, you're a hero too. Call him. Mm. Uh-huh. How big is this damn apartment? You make that kind of money being a 911 operator? I want to do that then. 
I don't know. I wanted to check on you. I've been seeing you all over the news, and it seemed like maybe you were having a hard time. I had to watch them die. I know. I've had to listen to people <laughs> die before. I mean, there are some people who just don't want to be saved. You have my number now. Are these Are two going to have a little love connection? <laughs> <laughs> my brother was a man of great potential. That's the hardest part for me. It's only my fourth month on the job. I never lost anyone before this. What really happened up there? He gave up. Are you saying it's my brother's fault he's dead? No, that, that's not what I mean. He was loved, and he knew it. He wanted to live, and you failed him. Well, sis, that is not how it happened. Oh, this guy is such a creep. Ah! The, the pervy guy. I'm sorry, did you say pervy guy? The window washer, the thing snapped the his wires. The pervy guy. All right, fuck, that ring could go any second. I'm going to go up to the roof and secure the cable, all right? You go up with the ladder. Don't, all right? I, I know I let you down. I love this job because I get to be the tough guy, but I also get to help people. Blonde hair, green eyes, she was wearing a blue University of Michigan t-shirt, white shorts, and she had on black Go Converse blue. high tops. Last thing she said to me was, please, and then she was gone. And anybody who tells you that losing someone doesn't affect them is lying. We have people in the department who help us deal with this kind of stuff. Buck, Buck seems like a pretty complex character, huh? I treat a lot of first responders people who run toward danger. I'm not scared. I'm angry. That's good. I just don't like to be made to feel a fool, and that's exactly how I feel right about now. You lost somebody. That's hard. Yeah, but we lose people. I just can't shake the feeling that this one didn't need to go down the way that it did. I let you love me because I thought you could fix me. I can't help you get inside his head, Mr. Buckley. We're here to talk about what's inside yours. It's, um... It's actually just Buck. Baby, we still got a whole lot to hold on to. I agree. So if you can live a celibate life, Michael, I can too. And what? stay together just without sex? Even... No, Michael, what? I met someone. <sighs> <sighs> That was beyond unprofessional. I'm your therapist. Yeah, and I feel better. You need to go. Who? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, come on now. I'm disappointed in you. Well, it depends on what you had in mind. You could meet me at my place for a little afternoon delight, if you know what I'm saying. You called 911, dumbass. Oh, shit. Oh. You think I'm stupid, huh? You think you can just make me look like a fool and walk away? Well, damn. The problem, you bitch! Liner. And then you go and cheat on me with some werewolf-looking dick from work. I did not cheat on you, okay? How many times do I have to say this? Gotta be a jump. He couldn't threaten himself with a gun. You, you could this. do it, Buck. You could do it, Buckaroo. Will you please get down so we can talk about how you can improve? I don't think I need to improve. Fine. You want to jump? Go ahead and jump. Did you cheat on him? This is the right time for that. So that's a yes. No, it isn't. Just tell him you're sorry. Leonard, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. You lying bitch. Oh, fine. I mean, that was pathetic. Kick him into the... I mean, we were on top of the Eiffel back Tower. Back into the thing. He says to me, Bobby. <gasps> yes. <gasps> yes. Thanks for pushing me back there. I don't know what happened. I guess... I, I love me. Buck. Oh. Hopefully, I'm sorry and I didn't mean it. I need it. to apologize to you. We sent him to therapy and he got better. Then two months ago, he started isolating himself again. Chad said he'd ask Devin to go to the state fair. Oh. When Devin said yes to the fair, I took it as a sign that he was getting better. There was nothing either one of us could have done for Devin. Well, we could all use a little happy hormone. <laughs> I love Devin, her different glasses. You need to get out and have some fun. You're sitting around getting cool, and there's a big old hunk of man that would love to burn his tongue on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buck, it, 
it's uh, it's Abby Clark. Oh, hey. So I was thinking maybe we could meet up in person. If, uh, if we went out on a date, I'm pretty sure we'd have sex. Uh, okay. You think I would just sleep with you? I'm not sure what to make of that. So you think I'm not going to be able to control myself around you? Because right now, I mean, in this conversation, I'm extremely not interested in sleeping with you, so... Uh. For now, I think it's best if we just talk on the phone. Like in the olden days. No, I'd be into that. Interesting. That would be great. The phone relationship? Interesting. The right kind of no is better than the wrong kind of yes. Oh, Dad called. He said we could eat dinner without him. <sighs> I bet he did. May, honey, have you eaten anything? Damn headphones. Look that music up so loud. Oh, my God! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No, 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 She just opened those, I think she's... I, I think she's dead. No way. Like, for real? Okay, so this, this, okay. So 911 is a lot deeper, a lot darker than 911 Lone Star. 911 Lone Star is a little bit more lighthearted. I feel like obviously there's some emergencies, but I feel like it's a little funnier. This one, now we're talking about an underage teenager overdosing. This is some real shit here. I dig it though. This show's very entertaining. The acting's really good. This cast is fire. I cannot wait to see how this ends up. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye bye.